There are close to 53 million people in South Africa, and by 2050, the population is projected to reach 62.5 million people, even though the population growth rate is declining by about 41%. 64% of the population lives in urban areas. South Africa has a high education rate, with approximately 93% of people over the age of 15 literate. Although many people are educated in South Africa, in 2011 an estimated 45% of the population was below the poverty line. Social assistance continues to form an important part of the government's strategy to fight the triple challenge of poverty, inequality, and unemployment. More than half of all households in South Africa benefit from government social assistance programs. Nearly a third of South African children were undernourished while the majority of adults were overweight or obese in 2011. This is due to improper infant diets, a lack of availability to a diverse selection of nutritious food, and a high risk of disease. South Africa has very limited freshwater resources with less than 10% of the annual rainfall available as surface water, which is one of the lowest conversion ratios in the world. Within the available freshwater resources, municipal pollution is a growing problem. The World Health Organization calculated that about 3.4 million Africans die each year from drinking unsafe water, or because of poor sanitation. Agriculture also cuts the use of freshwater use with more than 50% of available surface water resources being used for irrigation purposes. Due to the insufficiency of water, 11 of 19 water management areas in South Africa have water supply problems. This has led to 12 to 14 million South Africans without access to safe drinking water. South Africa has a very diverse ecosystem for plant life, comprising of around 22,000 different species. Most of the plants are native to the land and endemic to South Africa, meaning they are found nowhere else in the world. In terms of conservation, South Africa has 1.4 million hectares dedicated to forestry plantations. For agriculture, the largest crop produced is maize, as 15,000 farmers produce it. This places South Africa as ninth in the world for maize production. They are also the ninth largest producer of wine in the world, which attracts a large tourism industry. South Africa has an abundant variety of large animals found within game reservations. The largest of these is Kruger National Park, which has protected the animals since 1989. It covers 19,485 square kilometers of land and contains nearly every species native to South Africa, which includes the severely endangered black rhino. In terms of livestock, South Africa produces 85% of its meat requirements from beef cattle. Sheep farming is counted as 29.3 million head for the country's production. Livestock is South Africa's largest agricultural sector and continues to expand their technological advancements. They have been expanded into aquaculture with mussel farming being the most prominent. Much of South Africa's land use gets put aside for agriculture, which takes up 86% of the area. The rest is set aside for livestock production, forestry, and 6% of land is used for conserved areas. Within the country, only 10% of the land is arable. The other 90% of land uses irrigation systems to keep the land moist. Some resources that come from the land are rich minerals such as gold and silver. South Africa also contains reserves of platinum, manganese, uranium, copper, beryllium, titanium, and a few other minerals. Approximately 6.5% of South Africa's energy comes from two nuclear power plants right outside of Cape Town. However, South Africa's main energy resource is coal, with 106 coal mines that produce approximately 77% of South Africa's energy. Because of such a high energy dependence on coal, South Africa is the 14th highest emitter of greenhouse gases in the world. Due to this and the fact that South Africa's energy demand is expected to double by the year 2030, the Integrated Resource Act was put into place in 2011. This 20-year program plans to reduce South Africa's greenhouse gas emission by making 42% of their energy use come from renewable resources such as biofuels. The government of South Africa, currently under President Jacob Zuma, is a constitutional democracy with a three-tier system of government and an independent judiciary. 
The national, provincial, and local levels of government all have legislative and executive authority in their own spheres and are defined in the Constitution as distinctive, interdependent, and interrelated. The three capitals of South Africa consist of Pretoria, the administrative capital, Cape Town, the legislative capital, and Bloemfontein, the judicial capital. The economy is centered primarily around services, manufacturing, and agriculture. An estimated 8.5 million people are either directly or indirectly dependent on agriculture for their employment and income. South Africa has a modern and well-developed transport infrastructure. The transportation sector has been highlighted by the government as a key contributor to South Africa's competitiveness in global markets. The South African economy was originally built on mining and agriculture. Nowadays, tourism and agriculture are a major part of South Africa's economy, and South African wines play a large role in both of those, as 79% of land is used for both animal and plant agriculture. South Africa ranks 8th in overall volume production of wine and produces 4.2% of the world's wine. South Africa has a subtropical climate and is a relatively dry country with an average annual rainfall of about 18 inches. However, despite its African geography, the Cape Winelands, situated at the southernmost tip of Africa, enjoy a Mediterranean climate with cool, wet winters and warm, dry summers. The mountain slopes and valleys form the ideal habitat for wine grapes, and the sea breezes from the Atlantic and Indian Oceans cool the vineyards during the warm summer afternoons, slowing the ripening process and creating the intense fruit flavors that are so popular with lovers of South African wine.